Hello, in this video, I would like to talk about two practice questions in externalities. Let's begin with the first one. So if you have this question and then it gives you the demand curve, okay, downward sloping, and then it actually also gives you the private cost. So this private cost actually represents for our original or like the supply curve that we learned before. This is the horizontal axis and this is the vertical axis. You can notice in this typical graph, it is not only has private cost, it also has social cost. So social cost will equal to private cost plus external cost. And you can notice without externality, this point, point A, okay, I'll mark point A, okay, without externality, point A is actually the mark equilibrium point because point A is the intersection of supply curve and demand curve, right? However, now we have another supply curve, which is the social cost curve. So for first question, it asks, at each unit of the plastic that it is produced will result in external benefit or external cost. Obviously, as I already write down here, social cost will equal to private cost plus external cost. So definitely we will have external cost. And what's the external cost? Actually, external cost was, this one is the vertical distance, okay? The vertical distance between social cost and private cost. And here you can notice the external cost would just equal to $20 subtract $12. So we can get the external cost equal to $8. So this graph here, obviously, okay, it tells you it has one demand curve but two supply curves. So this graph represents for a negative externality, right? And then in their second question, it asks, in order to reach the social optimal, what can government do? So as we talk about in our slides, if our if our economy or if our market has negative externality, then government can impose corrective tax, right? The corrective tax rate can equal to external cost. So the government can impose a tax of $8 per unit on the plastic in order to discourage firms and corporations to produce more plastics. And then at the end, it asks, if now the government impose a corrective tax that successfully move the market from market equilibrium to social optimal, then the tax revenue will equal to how much, okay? So you can notice from this question, it says before point A is our market equilibrium and then point B here is our social optimal. because point B is the intersection of social cost and the demand curve, okay? So now, with this corrective tax, finally, finally the market will produce, sorry, finally the market will produce plastic at 250 units. And we also notice the corrective tax will equal to $8, right? So we will just use tax times the quantity, which will equal eight dollars times two hundred and fifty, which will give us the tax revenue will equal two thousand dollars. Option B is correct. Now let's look at the second practice question. So in the second practice question, it will be different from the previous one. You can notice from the graph, it has two demand curve now one is the demand curve which we said this is can represents for the private value okay another one is social value so social value will equal private value plus external value 
Therefore, in this typical graph, it will tell us this market or the society will have positive externality. Compare with the previous practice question. Now we have two demand curves, but only one supply curve. Okay, and you can also find out the external benefit first. So external benefit or external value were equal to the vertical distance between social value and demand or the private value. So from this graph, you can find out this could measures the external benefit. The external value, okay. So the external benefit or external value will equal one hundred and twenty-five dollars subtract eighty-nine dollars, which can give us the external benefit will equal to six thirty-six dollars. And then it also asks the social optimum can be reached by which policy? So from this graph here, we can notice which point is our market equilibrium point. So market equilibrium points will be just the demand curve and the supply curve intersection. So this point A here represents for our equilibrium point, market equilibrium points, because point A is just the demand curve intersect with supply curve. However, point B here. This point B here is the social value curve intersect with our supply curve. So point B is our social optimal. Once the market face positive externality, it always means the market equilibrium is not enough to reach the social optimum. Therefore, in order to encourage people to producing to produce more of those goods or services, government can provide subsidy. Okay. And the subsidy, ideal subsidy, will equal to will equal to our external benefit. And then at the end, it asks the social optimum quantity of the output. Social optimum quantity of output, you will just equal to seventy three. Okay, so these are the two practice question in externalities, either from positive externality or negative externality. I hope you can have better understanding, and then I hope this video will be helpful for you to finish the quiz and homework questions. Thank you.